Welcome, welcome back again to my channel. Um, today I'm going to take you on this wonderful journey, um, teaching you how to make Jamaican fried dumpling. Yes, you get that right, Jamaican fried dumpling. Oh, so for I have some leftover um, dough, you know, um, that I make. Um, if you're very interested, if you interested um, about how you make Jamaican, right, um, then you just roll it together like this and basically um, spread it apart just like that. Um, you can use this for basically if you're making like a lunch or so. Um, I just basically want something different to eat. Um, you just heat up your oil. As you can see, the oil is basically sizzling. And basically just be, um, push the corner aside. You can also use like a rolling pin if you want. Um, I add a little bit of cornmeal in mine um, uh, just to give it a, a, a different taste. Um, not just a pair of um, bread, I, I just a little different taste. And you just spread it across like you're making pizza, right? And then you just basically put it in the oil and it's basically like frying right there. And um, I mean, the, the, you, you can have this for breakfast or so, you know, um, you know, it, it's a very easy, simple process. You just roll it together and basically um, just like, um, push it around and also um, we make like ball dumping just like you're making pasta um, but we make it kind of a little bigger so um, so this is a very easy simple step how to make fried dumping and it's not that hard and you're just waiting it to have that golden brown look and basically you you turn on the fire very low um, I don't add too much oil in mind but but just, just a small aisle um oil if you want to basically have like a little deep fryer so you can you can do so um just heat it up and um that's how you get it done so for for me right now i'm just gonna have this with some steamed cabbage um uh making this for my wife um and the kids so I add some 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 steamed cabbage um just as if you watch my channel you see how um, we make the steamed cabbage is pretty simple, just um, carrot, onion, um, um, garlic, and whatever um, veg you have, um, bell pepper, um, if you want to add tomato in there, it's up to you. And then you just basically bake, um, um, steam it, and and yeah, and that's how you do it. And I'm going to have basically fried plantain with this um, breakfast this morning. Um, so yeah, this is how you, you, you do it. And then as you can see, you just flip it around. As you can see, this one is catching a little color right here. And then that's how it's supposed to look, have that, that golden brown sheen. That's how you get it done. And for now, I'm just gonna basically push it around. I think I'm gonna make a next extra one. That's how you do it. And if you wanna roll it, use a, um, a rolling pin and roll it, you can do so. You know, um, it's very um, simple, as I said. Um, it's not hard at all. It's like you're making pizza, pizza dough. Um, very easy um, process. And even if you want to use this to make a pizza dough, I think you can do it also, but you just have to put more baking powder in it and, um, and just roll that thing out like really big and just um, just a fast way you can make a, a pizza. You don't have to use um, yeast inside there. Just use a baking powder. And um, yeah, and just, just get it done. That's how you, you, you do it. It's not hard at all. Even if you poke a hole in there, that's fine. But um, I'm sealing the, um, the, the everything because um, I don't want the oil to basically um, 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 soak up in there and I want to get that nice and puffy, you know, so that's how you get it done. So um, in the meantime, I'm going to prepare my cabbage and all those those kind of stuff. And um, when we come back, you're going to see the finishing of this video. Stay tuned. Um, so this is a final stage of the fry dumpling. That's how they how they look. Um, it's very nice. Um, I was very um, happy they come out very nicely because you know sometimes you know the the temperature of the fire sometimes it's just um, 
just it's just unpredictable um, unpredictable sometimes um can't even speak um today um so excited about this so so today so now we're gonna fry the fry plantain and the fry plantain have to be basically um um ripe and this is how i like it if you want to fry it green it's up to you but this is how the fry plant i like mine kind of like um you know not small you know i cut them like in strips so they kind of like um you know pretty long most jamaican like to cut them very small but you know what i gotta make myself very happy you know so i gotta treat myself right so i'm not waiting to i just eat a whole plant and i don't care um so that's how you get it done so that's the um the fry planting for you and um it's basically gonna take it time and have the same color of the fried dumpling i want it golden brown so that's how you get it done so um i'm just preparing my kids for school and this is my kids breakfast that's i start up i'm um, starting them off um with uh, breakfast and that's how it um look and um my kids just kind of eat a little different then um i want them to eat a, a a full breakfast meal um and this is basically um right here is just a regular breakfast that normally typically jamaican um have in the early morning which you can call this fry bread um mostly american people call it fried bread, bread we call it fried dumpling yeah so we have the boiled one too so i want you to stay tuned because when so finally finally we are here um i have um onion bell pepper and uh, um i'm gonna add a little strip of green onion in there let me get some green onion because I forgot to add that. Um, you know what? Scratch that. I'm not going to add any green onion. I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to put some all spice um, in there. Basically, this is all uh, purpose um, um, veg um, um, seasoning. Um, this is from Jamaica. So I'm going to add a little bit of that in there. Um, so all spice, all seasoning, and I'm gonna add um a little parsley to basically cook down into that. And this smells very, very great right now. And this is a healthy. And I'm gonna add some garlic. Okay, I'm gonna add some garlic right here garlic so i'm gonna sizzle this down one second black and black pepper can't forget the black pepper you know add a little black pepper to give it um a little bit more flavor and then finally i want to pass that around as you can see have that nice and because i don't cook with a lot of oil right and then don't worry about it. I don't have I had a lot of um green like onions and tomato and those kind of stuff. You can if you want, but I, I, I'm not going to because um all the seasoning that I add just a while ago you have all the ingredients in there. But you can throw in whatever you have to make it nice and spicy. And you don't even have to have it spicy, just have it nice cooked down and good texture and as you can see flip it around just like that it smells wonderful wonderful amazing so i like to work in a clean surface um clean up my area sometimes it splash a little bit and then i want to 
I want to cover this down for just um, three minutes. Once you cover it down to three minutes, it's basically going to steam inside. And that's where you're going to get the texture and the amazing flavor out of it. And everything is going to sweat and it's going to cook really, really, really good. I'm not going to cook it too long. So bear with me. Hang in there. I'll be right back. Finally, this is the game changer right here. That's how it's supposed to look. Steam cabbage. There we go. Then I'm gonna prepare the dish. When we come back, I'm gonna show you the finishing. All right. Welcome, welcome back again. So um, today we're gonna to, um, top it off with some, I um, have some Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee. Yes, that's right. Blue Mountain coffee. So we're basically gonna make some coffee in the early morning. Top that off with two, te um, two teaspoon. And uh, I have my water heat up already. Add my water. There we go. Go top that off. There we go. Mix it around. And once for all, we have to, I am going to add, I am gonna add some wonderful plant base in there for you. I'll do it for me and you today. Add some plant base in there. Change the whole game right here. I'm adding no sugar. Okay. And that's how you get it done for a Jamaican breakfast right here. The, um, taste it and let you know how it tastes. Amazing, okay? Amazing. So I'm gonna take you back over this side. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final stage of my steamed cabbage and fry um, dumpling, otherwise, um, fry bread um, that's how it's supposed to look um, I like my my, um, my planting to be and also planting and um, so you have in there um, cabbage bell pepper and um, carrots and uh, that's it and that's how you get it done and I'm gonna top my 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 my, uh, my cup off with some wonderful amazing Blue Mountain coffee. Um, that's how it look and that's how it get done. And this is all straight, strictly vegan. And that's how you get done. If you wanna surprise your man or your wife with some wonderful, um, nice dish. And if you wanna, um, wanna have a nice, healthy uh, breakfast meal. And um, I'm gonna come out with more um, stuff that I can, um, you can um, be healthy on and have a wonderful um, meal in the early morning. And this will basically um, keep you during the day and keep you healthy and make you think straight, mind straight, everything straight. That's how it get done. Um, I want to say thank you for watching. I really appreciate you. And if you think this video was very, very helpful, please like and share and subscribe to my channel so YouTube can basically throw me in that algorithm and turn on your notification so you can, um, when I come out with new video, you can basically um, um, dare to watch them. So thank you so much um, for watching. I really appreciate you and you have a wonderful day. All right, stay healthy. Peace.